Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is more of a uh, speculation video. So I know some of you guys are going to be hating in the comments. That's okay. Just hit that thumbs up button on your way out. That'd be great. Anyway, you know, be more serious. We don't know very much about Frontiers right now. I'm sure that's going to change in the next few days. But I am recording this on Monday afternoon, that is August 9th, which is the fifth anniversary of No Man's Sky. And Sean Murray, he just put out a uh, blog post on the PlayStation blog. If you didn't know, link down below in the description if you want to check it out. But I was just reading over it and I want to go through some of the things that I think will be in the Frontiers update. So just to, to uh, start off everything, to kind of kick everything off. The part that really uh, like tickled my brain a little bit was the uh, almost towards the end, Sean says, No Man's Sky Next was an inflection point. That was the update that came out in 2018. It felt almost like a new game launch and brought multiplayer to PlayStation players in 2018. The reaction of the community continues to motivate us years later. In 2019, as just one part of the large Beyond update, we brought the whole game to PlayStation VR. Built from the ground up, travelers could experience the wonders of the universe in fully realized visual reality as a free update. It was the moment I felt I could see the game with fresh eyes. I, I, to really step into the universe we had created with a new perspective. I really didn't have that feeling again until 2020 at the launch of PlayStation 5 we were able to be there with an enhanced ultra version of the game as another free update. Seeing the game with a beautiful new makeover running on next generation hardware was a real moment for the team. And finally, as we push forward to 2021, our next update Frontiers is something I'm very excited about. In some ways, it's just another update, but in other ways, it's a missing piece of the sci-fi fantasy that we've always wanted to add and, a ver and very fitting for our fifth anniversary. So there's a whole lot to unpack there, but he is comparing, I mean, semi comparing the Frontiers update with the next update, Beyond and VR. And I mean, even the, uh, well, I'm not saying Beyond, I shouldn't say Beyond, I'm comparing it to v Beyond. He said a part of Beyond which was the VR update and the next generation update. So those were all very huge updates. I mean, you can call them what you want. Maybe they weren't huge in features. They were huge in other areas. Like the next generation update really didn't add any features to the game, but it, 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 it the loading time was insanely fast. I mean, I put up a video of loading times on Xbox One versus the next generation loading times. And it, was, it went from two minutes on Xbox One loading time to 30 seconds on Xbox Series X next generation. The, the visual fidelity, it runs better, it looks better. I mean, that's a huge update. Didn't have very many features in it, but it was a huge update nonetheless. And he's comparing Frontiers to that. So I'm already hyped. I'm already pumped up that this is gonna be a massive update. Now, is it gonna be massive in features? We don't know. Is it going to be a big performance thing? We don't know. The other thing he also compared it to was uh, Next, which added a ton of features. Multiplayer, third-person camera, and he specifically points out that it is just, it is another, in other ways, it's a missing piece of the sci-fi fantasy we've always wanted to add. So I don't think it's going to be a like a performance update. Maybe it is, maybe that'll be part of it, but it's a feature, a sci-fi feature they wanted to add. And with the addition of the Prisms update, I don't know if you guys were paying attention, most people were, in the Prisms update, we actually got the ability, well, there, we didn't get the ability. We have a new terminal on space stations. So you can go up to that terminal and you can mess with it, but you can't really do anything with it yet. I think, personally, we're going to be able to uh, either buy or take over space stations in the Frontiers update. I really do. I think, I don't know what else is going to be involved in that, 
Are we going to be able to mess with the economy? I don't know. Are we going to be able to get more ships? I don't know. Like, there's a, there's a ton of different ways to mess around with it. But I think being able to own a space station is going to be huge. It's going to be able... You, you can set up a base or own a system of your own. Because there's billions and billions of systems. And so every player on No Man's Sky right now can claim a system. And there'd still be tons of them left over. And so there'd be millions and billions left over. So I don't think there's a, uh, a fear of running out of systems. The fear I do have is what are they going to have to do in order to uh, make that happen? Are they going to have to do a gal galaxy reset? Now, I don't know how long you, you've all been playing, but we've had a galaxy reset before. I believe it was with the either next or the beyond update. One of those big major updates, Hello Games had to come out and say, look, guys, we're revamping a ton of stuff. I think it was with the next update back in 2018. They had to come out and say, we have to clean everything out. We're revamping the way everything works. We're adding more base parts. So we have to clean everything out. We're, we're changing some planet types. And so your planet used to be this, and now it's going to be something completely different. I think that might be included in a, uh, a frontier update that we're going to have to do a, a total reset, a clean out, and say, hey, look, we love that we can get cross-generation. Like, now it's really cool because we can share a base from Xbox One to PlayStation 5 or PC. But with that comes a whole bunch of, I'm sure there is a whole bunch of bases that were built very close to each other or on top of each other, and they had to figure out that. So I think there's going to be a, uh, a galaxy reset. We're going to be able to own space stations and, I mean, my fingers are crossed that there's a whole bunch that comes with owning a uh, space station. Maybe you can mess with the economy. Maybe you can have more ships. I mean, ideally, there would be ship customization as well. But when it says, he says a uh, missing piece of the sci-fi fantasy, I think it's going to be something completely new. Like what we saw with living ships or the exomech. It was something that was another feature that we had rather than evolving something like you could already kind of upgrade your ship. And so instead of evolving that to be customizing, I think it's going to be a completely new feature, like owning a, a space station and being able to mess with the economy, like be able to set the prices of items in your space station. So you could sell ferrite dust for a million dollars each one if you wanted to. No one will buy it, but you can. You know, and so maybe, and maybe there's timers involved in that. I don't know. It's really deep. But I think that is going to be the defining feature of Frontiers. But what do you guys think? What do you think is going to happen with the Frontiers update? What do you think is going to be the, the thing? What do you think is going to be the main feature? Or is it just going to be like, hey, look, we had to go through and just revamp the whole game from gr the ground up. The performance is way better. It's cleaner. It loads faster. Maybe that's what they do with it. I don't know. It, it loads better because of, right now I know that if you run fast enough, the terrain won't load in as fast as you're running. You can do a, a shoulder boost and outrun the terrain loading in, the draw distance. And so maybe they go through and they say, look, we need to do that. We need to add more saving, auto-saving features, things like that. I don't know. It could be quality of life. We're changing around the uh, menus and stuff like that. I have no idea. But I have a big, big suspicion that it's going to be space stations. But let me know. I just want to put this out there. That way, when I'm totally wrong, you can call me out on it. I also think the update's going to hit this weekend, you guys. I think that we are going to be able to be playing the Frontiers update by Friday. Just call me crazy. I don't know. When uh, Sean Murray says we are going to share more with it very soon, whether you're going to share more updates with us or more details on Frontiers, very soon i'm thinking by by wednesday or thursday we're gonna have the update so let me know and i will see you guys next time